Hey everyone, Mike here with Mike W Consulting again, and excuse the weird microphone setup I've got here. My other microphone, I'm waiting for a adapter to come in to mount it properly on my desk, but until then, I've got to use this guy. Anyway, I want to bring you a video today showing my frustration in a problem that came up recently and what actually finally I found to resolve the issue. So, anyone who is familiar with Exchange and exchange migrations is probably going to hit this at some point in their career. So what I hit was doing an exchange migration from an older version of exchange to a newer version of exchange. The biggest point was trying to make sure exchange web services worked properly and making sure that auto discover worked properly, which is kind of part of exchange web services. Well, one of the critical applications that I was using once I did the migration to the new version of Exchange, could not use EWS, mainly because AutoDiscover was returning a 501 not implemented error. What the crap? I know, right? So it was returning an error kind of like kind of like this one you're going to see up here on the screen. Yeah, it's just a 501 error saying it's not implemented. And I racked my brain forever, couldn't figure out what was going on, and you can't find this in the IIS logs. If you browse through all the IS logs on an exchange server you're not gonna find this error it just doesn't show up so what is causing this error well if you're paying attention to the video and not just me talking you'll notice that I have a Kemp load balancer up on the screen and yes Kemp is what's causing these 501 messages so now I wrote down a couple notes just to make sure that I say this right and I don't fumble it so the the culprit is the Kemp load balancers and the reason is because by default, the Kemp's do not send the 100 continue message. And when that happens, when it doesn't send the 100 continue message to the Exchange servers, Microsoft waits about five seconds and then just sends the data anyway. To which, at that point, the Kemp blocks that data. And that's what then returns you with that 501 not implemented. So how do we fix this? Well, it's really simple. We go into our Kemp and we're going to make a global change. Yes, I said a global change because this is going to, I want to make sure I specify that because anything else you have running across these Kemp's, if you're doing Skype, um, if you're doing other applications, this could potentially affect them. So you obviously want to make sure you make this change and then you test your applications to make sure there's no unforeseen consequences. But it's a very simple setting. You're going to go into the left side here under System Configuration. You're going to go to Miscellaneous Options and L7 Configuration. And what you'll notice down here, almost at the bottom, is 100 continue handling and by default we're set to RFC 2616 and if you hover over it Kemp gives you a very nice what does each one of these mean and if you'll notice at the bottom the client will always send the post data even if a 100 continue message is not sent use RFC 7231 so obviously that's what we want to do because that's the problem is the 100 continue message is not being sent but the data is coming over anyway so we just simply click this guy and we choose RFC 7231 and you don't need to press anything once you make that setting it's gone live so just be careful but once I made this setting change all of my EWS auto discover problems were gone I didn't have to make any other changes to any of the applications I made this one simple change and hey, everything started working. So I hope this video has been informative for you. Thank you for watching, and if this helped you out, leave a comment, let me know about it. If there's something else you want to know, let me know. Um, and if you enjoyed it enough, feel free to leave a like. It helps me out tremendously to try to get my channel built up with the more subscribers. So again, thanks for watching.